Well, the Rhode Island Children's Chorus is now in its 16th season. Uh, Joyce Wolf, executive director, and I founded the organization in 2003 uh, with just a handful of students in Northern Rhode Island. And over the past 16 years, we've expanded to other areas of the state and now serve over 250 students in four choir levels. We're based at the Rhode Island Philharmonic Music School in East Providence. We also hold uh, rehearsals at Bryant University in Smithfield and at uh, St. Luke's Church in East Greenwich, so families can choose whichever location best suits their needs. We have four choir levels, the training chorus, which is uh, for children in grades two through 12. Uh, then we have the lyric chorus, which is our middle school level. And we have two high school groups. Uh, the high school honor choir is a large mixed chorus, which means uh, that we have uh, sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses in that group. And it's a really a, a large, very exciting uh, chorus for students who love to sing and really take their choral music education seriously. Uh, and then we have a chamber chorus. It's a smaller select chorus of about 30 high school girls. It's been a pleasure today uh, producing the next iteration of the Benny's uh, holiday TV spot with the Rhode Island Children's Choir. Truly um, an unbelievable organization that speaks volume to the, the culture and artistic uh, nature uh, of our children here in, uh, in the Ocean State. They're just unbelievably talented. Uh, disciplined, uh, and just great kids. Our focus and our emphasis is equal parts on vocal and musical technique and the building of self-esteem. I like being a part of this fantabulous group. I just love knowing that I'm supported by everyone here. <laughs> I like singing. <laughs> singing is like my absolute favorite thing to do. Yeah. Like I sing everywhere. If a parent is interested in involving their child in the Children's Chorus, they would just go to our website, richildrenschorus.org, and read about the audition process. When we sing, it just kind of like brings us all together. Being in there is really cool. I've never done this kind of thing before. It was a good experience, and it's been really fun so far. So. My daughter is in the Chamber Chorus, and she's been with Rhode Island Children's Chorus three years, and she just has grown so much in her music under Dr. Noel. My daughter, Alicia Royal, started singing with the Rhode Island Children's Chorus about two years ago, and she's become a better singer immediately after joining. One of the most rewarding things for the staff is to hear how the Children's Chorus has shaped them as a person, not only in the um, building of their musical skill, but how it's helped to develop their self-esteem and their leadership skills. This spring, one of our choir levels will perform at Carnegie Hall, and this will actually be a debut performance at Carnegie Hall for the Rhode Island Children's Chorus. We've had several performances at national conventions for music educators and conductors where the Children's Chorus has been a featured choir. Um, we've performed with the Rhode Island Philharmonic and the Providence Singers. The chorus has performed at a number of uh, major events for the March of Dimes, the Izzy Foundation, the Rhode Island Foundation. We've opened for the Rockettes. We, have, we were featured in the film Moonrise Kingdom and in a commercial for Benny's. And we also host our own full concert performances every year that are typically held at either the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul or on the main stage at Rhode Island College. As of now, we've been able to assist every student who has requested financial aid. That's possible because of donations. And we also certainly have a need for volunteers. 